Today we're going to talk about Lethway. This is fight commentary breakdowns, by the way. Look at the headbutt. Lethway is like Muay Thai, but it's bare knuckles. As you can tell, it's only wraps, no gloves, and you can headbutt. So it changes the game up. We'll see in this compilation that headbutts change everything. Look at this. Diving headbutt. Right? We know about takedowns. We know about fighting in the clinch and stuff, but now you have to watch out for people's heads when they take you down. Something I've never thought about. Look at that. Boom. It changes the game completely, man. How do you defend against a diving headbutt? Here we have, they're in the clinch, right? They're fighting for the clinch, but now you can headbutt people. So your clinch game is going to change too. Man, it just like changes the, com the fight completely. I want to show you this awesome dude. This is David Leduc. Um, he's our resident white boy myth Lithway person. And he's such a cool dude. Look at his training elbows. Look at that. Look at the headbutt training, man. Boom. So look at the headbutt training. And then, guys, I have never learned how to headbutt. I do not know how to use my head. I mean, I use my head when I think, but I don't use my head to hurt people. At least physically. So you notice how the angle and then the part of the head he's using. It's interesting. For those of you that train in headbutts, why is he using that part? That like top left part of his head? Like why isn't he using his forehead? Or is this like a, like he's thinking about clinching or something? I don't know. You guys have to let me know for those of you train in Lethway. Here's another example of a diving headbutt. Jeez, man. Look at that. Boom. So it's like, what would you do, guys? I, I can't even fathom because I've never even thought about this. What would you do if like a takedown, right? When I'm being taken down, I'm thinking, okay, I got to protect my head from hitting the pavement or hitting the mats. So I'm thinking, okay, how do I break the fall and tuck my neck? But now I'm tucking my neck. I'm putting my head closer to his head, right? You tuck your head so your head doesn't hit the mat, but now... You give his head. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know what to do, man. And finally, we're going to look at this guy. This is another white boy Lethway fighter. He's a Czech guy. Look at the head, man. Oh, my goodness. Just look at that. Makes me cringe so bad. I mean, I always thought the, the brain, you know, it's going to get rocked even if you headbutt someone. But I could be wrong. Maybe if you have strong enough neck muscles or something like that. You know, there is a way to headbutt without hurting yourself at all. I don't know, man. I just, I've seen pictures of Lethway fighters. I wish I could show them, but you two would take it down. But, like, their their heads are completely damaged after they they do the headbutts and everything. I was doing more research on the rules behind Lethway. And it turns out that Lethway, actually, this is so interesting. Lethway has a injury timeout rule. So, if you're kind of dazed, you're kind of knocked a little... You can kind of revive, so apparently that does not exist in Muay Thai. This is from MMA Life. And so due to the injury timeout, as well as Lethway's rules to win, and the fighters not wanting to receive a draw result, Lethway fights can be more aggressive, bloody, and reckless compared to Muay Thai. In other words, more brain damage. By the way, there's Lethway in 1FC, if you guys haven't seen. It's an older art than Muay Thai. Lethway, the art of Nine limbs, not eight. Muay Thai is the art of eight limbs. Lethway is the art of nine limbs. Way older than Muay Thai. So I think striking-wise, Lethway is probably the most deadly. If you guys want to disagree with me, sure, go ahead. Fight commentary breakdowns, out.